Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Friday morning at just over 92 degrees. I just arrived here at the ranch in the 99F350 and the new toy hauler. We have no room at the main house to store, so this will be its place to store while we are not camping with it. The long term goal is to either put it in the barn or build a garage or pole barn. I think for now let's hop here in the truck and kind of get it moved, probably tucked around inside the pole barn. Now I do have a few things I really want to accomplish today. We do have a few deliveries I want to take care of and then I want to mow the yard with a brand new Xmark mower we picked up a few weeks ago. Uh, mowing this 10 acre ranch will probably be, I would say at the very least, uh, maybe 4 to 5 hours. Even though it's a big mower and we can be pretty efficient with us, it, it's going to take us quite a long time. If you do enjoy today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. I think for now we'll just kind of set it here to the side and I will have to get out a few tape measures and check the measurements see if we can fit in the barn if we can we will have to make the change and put it in there but right from the looks of it I think that we could potentially fit it inside now one thing I will have to say towing uh, with this 99 F350 was surprisingly really good the temperature stayed pretty well and although it's not as torquey and as much horsepower as new power strokes this 7.3 here is a champ and we'll just get this disconnected connected as well that's a one heavy toy hauler to just kind of keep uh, connected and I will definitely drive this back to the house tomorrow morning now we did have a few deliveries here for both the horses and the chickens I ordered the food and they uh, arrived here in pallets let's get going on feeding the horses they eat quite a lot here and uh, that's definitely good in uh, horses and chickens is definitely great to have I hope everyone's been having a great week so far. Let me know how it is down below. Hope you guys end the week strong here. And I hope everyone has been really enjoying the summer. The weather has been really good out here. Where I'm at, lots and lots of uh, warm weather. Pretty much beach weather is the best way to put it. Oh yeah, the horses just keep eating bags and bags, which is no problem. I really do enjoy the horses, and I think, why don't we take one of them for a quick ride around here? We have three horses, and they're just a lot of fun to have here. We'll just kind of ride it around in the uh, horse uh, paddock. We won't kind of leave it. Now, horses are very strong. They do run pretty fast here, and definitely want to kind of go out maybe horse riding. I think that would be a pretty fun video to do, and I think we'll hop off on it. Wow, it's always nice just to ride them and train them, and actually, uh, uh, long term, if we were to sell the horses, give them to a new home, they'll be worth even more. But let's come over here to the chickens and check up on them. Now, I will have to say, eating... Uh, the eggs has been awesome. It's uh, definitely a big upgrade from eating kind of store-bought uh, egg cartons. And that's pretty much it there. I think we'll just kind of bring these all inside. One of the kids, I think, will be running outside here probably in 5 to 10 minutes uh, to grab the bag of eggs. I've really been enjoying the homeowner series here, especially here at the ranch. It's been a great addition to this series, and I do have a lot more plans here for us. Lots of things happening in one of the deliveries, uh, along with the food uh, for the animals, was a gas tank. We have two gas tanks coming. One is a 50-gallon gas tank, and the other one is a 100-gallon diesel tank. Uh, it's just way too much work, way too much time uh, to bring diesel and gas here to the property. We live 30 to 45 minutes from the nearest gas station and that's just a lot of work here for us. So I think let's hop in the Kubota and I do want to first add a decoration to the front gate and then uh, we will use this to pick it up. I think it should be right outside uh, one of our gates or even right inside. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for this series, please let me know. I really do enjoy using your feedback here to improve the videos and the channel. And I will say it's always great to be uh, behind the wheel here of the Kubota. Now I do have quite a few uh, mods here in the works. I'm really excited to be revealing them and uh, uh, I have a lot of things coming as well and a big surprise that I'm just about done uh, working on. So I'm thinking we'll just place the decoration kind of in this uh, front corner. I think this will be the place to put it. 
I will have to say this is one of the best $800 I've spent here on decorations for the ranch. It looks awesome. We kind of give it uh, kind of a rustic look here with the wheel, but it really does add some color here with the flowers, and it also does have a working light here, which is pretty neat. All right, let's go over there and check up there on our gas tank. It should be over there now. It should be right on a pallet. Very similar. I actually believe it's the same model as the one we got for the main house, which is nice. If it works, I just kind of buy it. No need to kind of keep changing brands and things like that so it should be ready in over here for us but mowing is going to take us a ton of time and I'm actually just excited to try out the new uh, 96 inch X mark that's going to be pretty cool lifting look at how heavy this is I actually think it's full uh, this one here is full but the other one they actually have to come fill it up here in a few days We'll be as careful as we can we don't want to drop this half gas going all over uh, that wouldn't be the best of things now I am currently looking into the future here of the homeowner series. I've already picked out the next map for us as well in the next house and I think uh, after maybe a, a month or two we'll do another ranch uh, again but definitely uh, maybe uh, let me know down below guys when should we switch over to the uh, new map a different map and everything like that but I think probably at least another month or two on this map that we have an awesome save game and I just want to continue to play it. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to make a lot of room on the inside here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe the uh, K30 will be moved outside, or maybe we build a pole barn. I did see a great price, like $5,600 for a pole barn, uh, that, and then we did have to buy the uh, concrete slab, build it. Uh, so there we go for that. Let's get the diesel tank. Here's a 100 gallon diesel tank. It's a little bit of a different design. I actually much prefer it. It's much simpler and less things to break. So it's gravity driven. There's no pump. And uh, that's a little bit better than this one here. And uh, I definitely kind of like it quite a lot. We could put a few things underneath. But up next, let's hop in the players, rip it around, and then the jet ski. Now I have been considering selling our Polaris Ranger. I don't really use it too much and this Polaris 2 seater is a lot more fun and I still kind of use it somewhat as kind of a utility around the ranch as well. But look at all this guys, we have all this to mow. Well, why don't we just rip around here, hopefully we don't roll this over, but this Polaris 2 seater is so much fun. I definitely recommend you guys picking up here. If you do a farm sim, it's so cool, so fast and it's almost a little bit too fast, a little bit too scary here for us, but you guys can see doing a little bit of drifting. Whoa! look at that oh yeah that is awesome it's just a lot of fun to play farm sim and uh, do cool videos like this and if you guys are new here to the channel I do ask that you please subscribe we are growing growing faster and faster and I can't wait for when we hit 100,000 subscribers so there we go there on the players we'll uh, keep it running there it will go on the jet ski here for a few minutes really want to just keep exercising uh, keep using the uh, toys here we have them we own them we spent all this money to get them and we just got to enjoy them oh yeah the uh, sea dew here is a ton of fun here the uh, GTR 215 is just so fast here now I have got flown off this the last few times and the kids have really been enjoying this but one thing I really want to do is take the kids tubing out on the lake boat that would definitely be a, a ton of fun and I'm just trying to mix a lot of fun into kind of yard work and things like that so there we go the last thing we have to do and the longest thing I think it might take me until sunset Alright, so we are here at the bar, and I grabbed the keys here to the X mark, and I just grabbed a quick snack as well. Alright, here it is, guys. This is the X mark Laser Z 96 inch, first time running it. I can't wait to really see how it does. Now, I did also fix the cutting width to be more realistic for the bigger deck as well, uh, which is uh, something I really wanted to do. So let's get going, and I think we'll first do kind of the oval out front. Now, if you guys do want to see more mowing and kind of landscaping action, I do recommend uh, you go uh, check out the landscaping series we have here on the channel. Now, this X Mark, I believe, is uh, a 39, almost 40 horsepower mower, so it's a pretty fast one, and it gets mowing, it gets the job done in no time. If we could get this patched on here in uh, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, I mean, this yard might take only about an hour then, which is going to be really surprising. Now we might just have to take this mower out with a landscaping company. Maybe we will rent it or even uh, demo it as well. I think that will be a lot of fun because this mower uh, means business. And I always like using big uh, new uh, equipment. 
Now the controls are a bit touchy, especially using the steering wheel here, but I will have to say, wow, a look at how much we are mowing. It's just so nice to uh, relax and mow and seeing the grass. Now one thing we will have to do coming soon is fertilizer, and we gotta just uh, keep the lawn looking green. Now if you do have any cool ideas here for the homeowner series, please let me know. I'm always interested to see if you guys have any cool ideas uh, for what we should do here with this series. But we still have lots more videos, lots more projects to do at uh, both this ranch and the main house. And I think once we complete all of those, we'll list both for sale. Hopefully we get a ton of cash and we can build our next uh, uh, house and move on and further uh, the series even more. But the series has come a long way, all the way back since FS17, and I've really just been enjoying it. One of the top series along with the landscaping series, uh, which is great. And if you guys uh, haven't already, I do recommend you go check me out on Instagram. I post every single day over there uh, sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And I'm just about ready to reveal the new farming series. A few of you guys actually recommended a few maps I wasn't even uh, thinking about. And I actually switched to one of those. So I can't wait for farming again. That's going to be a lot of fun here. Uh, to get behind the wheel of tractors and combines again. And I also do have some multiplayer videos here in the works. I can't wait for those. It's going to be a lot of fun uh, to be able to do more multiplayer. But I have been having problems with mods uh, crashing my games. Hopefully I could get those worked out. I'm actually really surprised here at the cut quality for a 96 inch mower deck that's pretty big and uh, so far it's been pretty good. No scalping as well. It does have some extra scalp protection wheels but this area where we reseeded, uh, we reseeded quite a few areas definitely uh, needs to grow in a little bit better uh, before we do that but I think we'll get going here on the other side, the big section and then we'll pretty much call it a day. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you do mow your own yard. I mow mine almost every single week. Really depends on if I do get a lot of rain. I, I did get some, and I actually mowed the lawn, I think, three, four days ago. We'll do a nice few stripes here. It's kind of really hard to see the stripes, uh, but it's just so nice to see uh, when the uh, sun hits it at the right time. And let's get going on mowing here. And a little bit of a back-breaking bump there for us. Little bit areas we do have to kind of take a shovel and a rake to it. But other than that, I mean, we have no problem here. And mowing this, uh, I think it might only take an hour or two with this 96-inch deck. I wasn't expecting this, but that's great to see uh, that it's not going to take as long. And there's some sort of collision there. I'm not uh, sure what's happening there. But we'll just keep going here on this. And I think uh, I will probably uh, jump in the lake when I'm done. I'm going to be covered in sweat. And uh, it's going to be a fun one, though. And blast me.